Restaurant Chris Mason D. Well, today we have our B20 head on the seat and guide machine, and we've decided to change the springs on this. But rather than go with a set of dual springs, we're actually going to go with a beehive spring. Uh, this is our stock spring here, and this is our beehive replacement over here. Now, to make this all work, you're going to have to take a machine, the re top retainer down, so it fits the spring properly. And then you're going to have to also modify the bottom spring seat so that the spring fits on there as well. What we found was we've got about an additional 15 pounds of uh, seat pressure with this spring. And we've got about another 25 or 30 pounds over the nose. So this is going to be able to allow us to rev this engine probably over 9,500 RPM. I want to show you how this is done because we had to make a special tool, of course to cut the spring seats on the cylinder head. Uh, we're using a pilot here and here. And I've got a little cutter on this tool that I made. And it goes down. We have to actually cut the spring seat down in the head about three millimeters. And now I'm gonna show you how that's done. All right, next we'll slide the head over. Zeroed out our indicator so we can take exactly 120 thousandths out. Okay, there's our 120 thousandths. Well, as you can see, we've cut the uh, spring seat on the left down, uh, about 120 thousandths. And the one on the right still needs to be cut, as do the rest of them. So we're going to go ahead and do that and get this job finished up. But this is how you do projects like this. Um, if you don't try new things, you don't learn new things. John Costa Mesa R&D, we'll see you soon.